Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Imam Hussain. Today we will talk about electrochemistry. Chemistry is the, this, the discipline of chemistry that deals with the study of relationships between electrical energy and chemical energy changes and chemical reactions that involves the input or generation of electric currents are called electrochemical reactions. Electrochemistry basically a branch of physical chemistry where we can concern with the interrelation of electrical and chemical effects. A large part of uh, this field deals with the study of chemical changes caused by passage of an electric current and the production of electrical energy by chemical reactions. The study of interconversion of chemical energy and electrical energy, this is said to be electrochemistry and the study of redox reactions or transfer of electrons from one substance to another and this field is having a huge array of different applications and phenomena. The phenomena are electrophoresis and corrosion. And the devices which are used for this purpose are electrophomic displays, electroanalytical sensors, batteries, fuel cells, technologies and the electroplating of metals and the large scale production of aluminium and chlorine. Materials which are classified into conductors, insulators and semiconductors are said to be a part of the practical approaches of electrochemistry which depends on the magnitude of their conductivity. Metals and their alloys have very large conductivity and are known as conductors. And certain non-metals like carbon, black, graphite and some organic polymers are also electronically conductive. Substances like glass, ceramics and having very low conductivity are known as insulators. Substances like silicon, dope silicon and gallium arsenide having conductivity between conductors and insulators. So that's why they are said to be semiconductors and are very important. Uh, electronic material. Here we are going to talk about uh, the difference between electrolytes and non-electrolytes and why they are very much useful. Water substance, actually water soluble substances are distinguished as electrolytes or non-electrolytes. Electrolytes are said to be the electrovalent substances that form ions in solution which conduct an electric current. Sodium chloride, copper sulfate and potassium nitrate, nitrate are some of the examples of your electrolytes. When we are going to talk about non-electrolytes, non-electrolytes are basically uh, the covalent substances which furnish neutral molecules in solutions. They have water solution, do not conduct an electric current. That's why sugar, alcohol, glycerol, urea, glucose, etc. are said to be in a category of non-electrolytes. An electrolyte is basically invariably undergoes chemical decompositions as a result of the passage of electric current through its solution. The phenomena of decomposition of an electrolyte by passing electron current, electric current through its solution is known as electrolysis. Types of electrolytes, electrolytes are also classified into two types, one is a strong electrolyte, another is weak electrolyte. A strong electrolytes are those electrolytes which are highly ionized in the solution. For example, HCl, sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, etc. Weak electrolytes are those electrolytes which are feebly ionized in the solution. For example, H2CO3, acetic acid, ammonium hydroxide, or this in particular. So, bye for now. In our next video, I will discuss about the another phase of electrochemistry.